exercise. And there's a marked stimulation. So the more exercise you do for the longer period of time, the more of this protective nitric oxide you're generating. And then thirdly, diet. Diet is so important because now it's well known that a diet that's rich in fats and lower in protein promotes oxidative stress. Oxidative stress, which can lead to diabetes, can lead to obesity, and most importantly leads to a deficiency of nitric oxide. And then once that happens, you have all of the accompanying uh, side effects of a deficiency of nitric oxide, like atherosclerosis, stroke, heart attack, and so on. I think that uh, that, that kind of uh, uh, program would go a very, very long way to maintain cardiovascular protection and probably uh, allow the person, enable the person to, to live a longer life. There's lots of long-term uh, benefits available from, from uh, nitric oxide therapy. We know quite a few of them today, and uh, each month that goes by, there's a new publication about a, a, a new long-term benefit. The, the long-term benefits in the cardiovascular system are, um, uh, are, are very, very important. One would be to prevent an increase in blood pressure or to lower the blood pressure once it's abnormally elevated. In other words, to treat hypertension, okay, to lower the blood pressure. Also, another uh, long-term benefit would be to protect against the incidence of stroke and myocardial infarction. One of the things nitric oxide does is it subtly interferes with blood clotting. It doesn't just prevent blood clotting if you have an injury, but it does prevent unwanted blood clotting. Unwanted meaning you don't want blood clots to occur in the coronary artery to cause a myocardial infarction, and you don't want clots to occur in the cerebral arteries, which would cause a stroke. So when you have a normal, healthy endothelial layer in the arteries, the nitric oxide that's made will protect against the development of stroke and against myocardial infarction. And uh, another uh, a very important protective effect of nitric oxide is to protect against atherosclerosis or coronary artery disease or plaque formation in certain arteries of the body. So those are just three to name a few. Dr. Ignaro's five-year project investigating the role of nitric oxide has resulted in a new book that may change how cardiovascular disease is prevented and treated. The name of the book is No More Heart Disease, where the NO stands for NO, or nitric oxide. And uh, I think the name is a good one because uh, if a person is going to embark on and stay on a, a, a nitric oxide therapy, I think that, uh, you know, which is, would be a lifelong process, uh, one would have very significant protection against cardiovascular disease. But once an individual has serious cardiovascular disease, there's no question that embarking on nitric oxide therapy does begin to reverse the process. The blood pressure comes down, the uh, cholesterol levels, LDL levels begin to come down, kidney function is restored, limb pain in diabetics uh, disappears, uh, and so on. So that's a restoration uh, of function. So it's kind of a reversal. I'm not saying 100% reversal, but I'm saying it, it's, it's a gradual reversal. And of course, this has been going on only for several, two, or two years or so. We don't know what's going to happen um, you know, 10 years from now. Uh, we essentially have just begun to scratch the surface, in my opinion, and in the opinion of the investigators working in this area. So there are many, many things to look forward to with regard to nitric oxide therapy and the possible prevention of other kinds of disorders outside the cardiovascular system. The main reason I wanted to write this book uh, is very simple. Uh, I spent 30 years of my life doing research, making contributions to the discovery of a very important molecule, nitric oxide, that serves uh, to protect the cardiovascular system against disease. Okay, put very simply, the lay public does not read the papers I publish in the scientific journals. How do I tell two billion people out there that this is what they should be doing to protect themselves against cardiovascular disease. And so one of the ideas was to try to write a book, a good book, perhaps a bestseller, if I'm lucky. And perhaps with that as a start, I can begin to communicate with the people out there in the rest of the world to try to follow 
uh, my plan for the development of uh, cardiovascular protection and a longer life. Dr. Ignaro's exciting discovery will open doors to new kinds of exploration into the cardiovascular system that will definitely benefit mankind. If you have any questions regarding this interview, please call us at 800-303-3200. I'm Roland Perez for the American Health Journal.